Okay, hey everybody, this is Andy and Denise at Calico Bluff for Earth Day plus 11. Earth Day 11, is we're it going to be? We're coming up on almost two weeks of doing this, but uh, guess what? We just got uh, a special um, bulletin from NOAA and from the people upriver from us, and they say it's breaking up and the ice is moving. Uh, broke up in Dawson last night about 5 o'clock and reports coming down river is that it's the front of ice pushing is moving down this way so uh, they're expecting breakup to happen at Eagle sometime today and then it all depends on the ice between us and Eagle whether it breaks up here later on today. Usually it takes about 12 hours for Dawson River ice to make it to us if everything goes well. If it jams up of course things are going to things are going to slow down a little mm -hmm. bit. So uh, it's imminent at this point. Uh, today we should see some action of some kind unless it break, unless it jams up really bad between us and Eagle. So uh, that's getting kind yes. of exciting. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I keep wanting to interrupt. Because <laughs> I know there's the jam spot that you've been talking about just up around the corner here bef before Eagle. Um, well, just down river from Eagle, that spot, and then right here. If yeah, okay. yesterday afternoon, about three o'clock or so, we had a big piece of ice break off from uh, right in front of our place here, and it slid on down. You can kind of see behind me here, there's some open water. I'll try and get a better shot of that up high so you can see how much opened up. So a big piece of ice let loose, went down river and jammed up, and uh, that was less than 12 hours after Denise was out running around. Actually, it was about six hours after <laughs> Denise was out running around on the Yukon yesterday. That would not have been good for it. To, I'd be having a change of scenery without going anywhere, floating <laughs> down the river. Yeah, so but. our trivia or our challenge for the day is uh, during a normal year, how much does the water level uh, rise and lower. So what's the what's the difference between low water and high water in one year's time on the average on the Yukon River? Or what is the height of the river usually during breakup? So we have the normal fluctuation of the river when there's no ice in it from low water to high water and then when breakup happens how much higher does the Yukon River ice go during breakup because that can be very different. And you have to think of it this way if you had a glass of, of water and it was about three quarters full and then you filled that entire glass up with ice cubes, what happens to the water? The water goes up and bubbles over the top of your glass and that's what happens at breakup on the Yukon River very often. So even though our property is pretty high off the river, we're like a giant glass and as soon as breakup happens, someone's dumping a whole bunch of ice cubes into that glass, and that's what causes the river to overflow up over the banks. And depending on how much ice you put in the glass, depends on how much the river level rises. So that was the first thing I noticed coming down, and I think we need to check our marking stick because it's obvious how much it's come up just yeah. overnight. It came so up a lot. Yesterday we were standing on this iceberg right here, or maybe one similar to it, out on the Yukon River more, and we were noticing little fish coming up our little side stream here uh, in the water, and today it's really deep right here. We're standing on an iceberg that's probably in about six or seven feet of water, so uh, the water came up considerably once this ice started pushing. And then you can see behind us, this is what's typical of breakup. The ice comes down, it jams into the break, bank, it breaks up, and then it just starts piling up higher and higher and higher. That's so, what I'm worried about. <laughs> well, that's what makes it impressive to watch. But wait, you forgot something. What? There's a very important thing you're skipping over here today. Well, I know, that means I'm probably gonna have to shovel a bunch of dog crap. That's for the right. <laughs> today is the fourth, <laughs> and my bet was for the sixth. Yeah, well, let's see, it might jam in front of the eagle, and then it doesn't move from here, and then I might I know, win. I'm a bit worried about that. <laughs> I, I don't want to wish that you win, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like Andy's gonna be the pooper scooper for the next week. So that's our uh, that's our update for today. Uh, we will be waiting anxiously for breakup. We'll probably have to start moving some stuff away from the bank today. We don't want to lose our picnic tables and fire pits and all that. 
Uh, so we'll be moving some stuff away from the bank, getting ready for the imminent breakup sometime today or tomorrow. Who knows? You think it'll? You think it'll break? It's just, well, I, it's obviously moving downriver. It's just a matter of those bad places between us and Eagle, whether There's they. There's a lot of ice them. between here and Eagle. It's basically all ice, is what we could see from that aerial shot. So right. that's what makes me a bit concerned about how that's going to happen, because <laughs> that's a lot of ice to just, unless it goes piece by piece. Yeah, it's, it, there's a lot of variables in every breakup. Uh, it looks very placid right now, but it can go from very placid to very threatening in a matter of half an hour at times, depending on what the ice does. So um, stay tuned, and we hopefully will be giving you a great report tomorrow of ice moving past Calico Bluff smoothly. Well, non-threatening, non let's put it that way. All right, so stay tuned, and uh, this if there's ever a time to pass this video around today, tomorrow, the next day are gonna be the days where there's gonna be a lot of action, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some really good videos of that and some good pictures to share with you because it's a pretty spectacular thing when it happens. All right. How high can the Yukon River water f level fluctuate during a normal year? Between 12 and 16 feet or 4.5 meters. And how high can the water rise during an ice breakup? In 2009, the Yukon River flooded Eagle and Eagle Village rising over 55 feet.